Yes, sir. If we could maybe just pause a moment. We've, we've got guests uh, on the phone that have been listening in, and um, I think we have four or five folks. And just to see if there, uh, give them an opportunity to maybe ask a question sure. they may have. Uh, so I'd like to ask anyone on the phone, do they have any questions they'd like to ask? If you would, uh, please tell us who you are when you ask your question. I've got a question. This is Eric Marzoff from the Swanee River Water Management District. Hey, uh, Eric. First, I'd like, howdy, I'd like to thank everybody for bringing this together and for all your hard work on this. I know this is a big effort that's been going on a long time, but it's greatly appreciated that you're jumping on this. Um, and while I completely agree with the kind of calculation and estimates of the percent flow that spills can contribute, as you can imagine, perception trumps that. So we get a lot of calls from folks that live along the rivers or have businesses along the rivers, and the perception of contamination can be uh, as harmful as not perhaps as a real spill, but it can still be a big hit to um, people living along the river and businesses. So um, really appreciate your hard work. And my, uh, my comment would be uh, keep the pedal to the metal. <laughs> uh, my, qu my question would be if you have an estimate of once you get, um, you know, say five years down the road, where you've got the new force main, the new plants, you've done a lot of the slip lining and smoke tests. Do you have a sense of what sort of rain event your system will be able to handle without having manhole pops and other kind of confused spills? Uh, I'll answer that. It's, this is an ongoing part. I mean, we're looking at the first five years of this program as WASH. This actually, we have a 20-year program. So this is not, you know, we still got to keep a, a, a pedal to the metal, as you say, for a while yet. Uh, as we continue to find these problems and correct them, <clears throat> I think it's going to take a major, hopefully we will not have any of the manhole problems. <coughs> we've got some other projects on the books right now that get some of these smaller manhole problems that we've had, some redirection of force mains. but. We're anticipating the force main project alone will eliminate the majority of spills that we've had in the Withacoochee Basin. Uh, in the Mud Creek Basin, we've got a lot, of, a lot of lines to repair, a lot of manholes to repair. But again, as we focus on the worst first, we hope to uh, minimize that. I mean, it's hard to you know, detect you know, uh, a broken pipe 27 feet under the ground especially when it's full of sewage. Uh, but that's, that's one of the challenges we've got to do. We've got to continue on that. You know, the goal is, is we've got, I think, $12 million budgeted in the next four years just for slip lining alone. And that's the first step. And we've got a lot of, a lot of those larger diameter mains we've got to attack too. But, you know, one step at a time, so. But I think, you know, you're going to see, as this work continues, you're not going to see the amount of overflows, uh, the severity of them, or the amount of them as this work Well, progresses. most of the overflows now are occurring because the system is all gravity and the 54-inch system is going underwater every time. If, if we see something that says the river's at flood stage, we already have problems. So by abandoning that 54-inch, well, that's no longer going to happen. And by uh, not having all gravity, the system is not going to back up, which is also causing a lot of the manhole overflow, so the force main will be under pressure. And then there's multiple safeguards of plants being relocated, and then there's a six million gallon hole in the ground, worst case scenario, so if your storm event is even worse than you anticipate, you've got that kind of excess storage capacity. So those are all things ongoing now that will be completed by January. So, I mean, obviously we believe that's going to uh, eliminate the majority, hopefully all of these. So, does that answer your, your question? Yes, that's that's great. Getting right at it. Um, uh, appreciate the the question.